What's going on, Jerome's? It is NFL schedule release day, and that means it is NFL schedule leaks day. Now, take every leak that you see with a grain of salt. Uh, th this is one of the few spots where uh, I actually value the national media jabroni haircuts as well as the local media jackals, you know, the big J journalists for getting things done. But reportedly, the Vikings and the Packers are going to be getting it on at U.S. Bank Stadium on New Year's Eve. For old acquaintance be forgotten. All that stuff. man. It's, it's weird to think, uh, think ahead to New Year's Eve when it's, uh, I don't know, May. All that stuff. But uh, Matt Schneiderman, uh, Big J journalist, uh, writer for The Athletic. Uh, unfortunately, he covers the Packers, is what it is. But uh, the Packers, uh, their uh, 2023 full schedule leaked Passaus. Um, and, and here's the whole thing where you see these leaks all, all over the place uh, on the interwebs, and there's usually like no accountability. Like if, if they're wrong, it's they're wrong. But if a beat writer puts his or her name uh, out there and is like, puts it on the line like it matters so that's why you know big j journalists and stuff like this it actually matters also who cares because we're gonna know all the games in like seven hours anyway but i digress uh but uh five time uh five prime time games even without rogers that's so stupid that is so stupid because this uh th this packers team is four and 13 just waiting to have it man uh blah 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 so getting into the games uh so the vikings uh on here twice uh, since being division rivals. So why are they putting the Packers in primetime so damn often? So uh, they're playing the Lions on Thursday Night Football, playing at the Raiders on Monday night, sure. Uh, they're playing the Lions on Thanksgiving in the early game, sure. But the Vikings uh, coming up. <coughs> but the Vikings coming up week 8, October 29th, just before Halloween. Uh, so they're going to be hosting the Vikings over at Lambeau. Da -da -na -na, da -na -na -na, whatever. And then week 17, December 31st, Sunday night football. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, no, that's Monday night. Whatever. But uh, at the Vikings, a.k.a. at Historic U.S. Bank Stadium, bring it on. But obviously this game is going to get flexed out because the Packers are going to be like, what, 4-11 and 11 headed, headed into this? So, And the Vikings will have the division uh, wrapped up. They'll have that wrapped up by week uh, 13. Uh, so it is what it is. But, oh, I, I, uh, Packers at Giants, Monday Night Football, that has a chance to be a debacle. Mm, mm, but again, whatever. But also, we, we need to talk about this. So... The, the first week one matchup on a Thursday usually involves a Super Bowl champion, and usually it's a, it's a prime choice matchup. And the Chiefs hosting the Lions this year, like the Lions are a lab and media created phenomena. Like the, the media is just going to keep blowing smoke up the Lions' ass uh, until they float. It's just, it's just ridiculous, man. Because, hey, I respect that the Lions are putting together a young nucleus of talent, uh, I, but also this team started out one and six last year. I'm sure, they were gangbusters towards the end, and yeah, maybe the, they beat the the Vikings seven out of eight quarters. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, man. I mean, okay, just like hey, keep ratcheting up these expectations for the Lions. Watch them uh, get to pants by uh, by Mahomes on uh, national television. Yeah, j just wait, man. Just wait. like I cannot wait because y y you you look around. It's not really Lions fans hyping this thing up because Lions fans know, like, like they have history, like they understand that like, if you never have a goal in life, you'll never be disappointed. And I found it's phenomenal, or paraphrasing that. Uh, but again, it's not Lions fans coming out saying the roar has been restored. The roar has been restored. But no, it, it's it's the media. It, it, it is the national media to run haircuts and like, oh, the Lions are obviously going to win the division. Oh, obviously the Lions are, are going to be a, a contender in the NFC. Obviously the Lions are, are going to uh, be a Super Bowl contender. No. No, oh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Hey, congratulations uh, for finishing the season hot. And you would have made the playoffs if you didn't start one and six. But again, I digress. Yeah, go ahead and trust Jared Goof. Go ahead and trust that defense. Go ahead. Just go just, just go ahead. But overall, I'm pretty fired up. I'm glad that we get uh, uh, Lambo out of the way relatively early, even though I ain't scared of the Packers at all. I mean, just weather-wise, it makes sense. Uh, and then uh, hosting the hosting the Packers on Sunday Night Football on New Year's Eve, where, hey, yeah, you know, all, all the stress of uh, being out on New Year's Eve. Uh, by, by the way, Kirk doesn't seem like a New Year's Eve kind of guy. No, like he seems like a in bed by 9.30 p.m. with a glass of warm milk type of guy and then he wakes up uh 
He wakes up on uh, New Year's Day like Ned Flanders and uh, does the taxes, gets them sent off. All that stuff, man. <laughs> Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the Vikings reportedly uh, will be hosting the Greasy Grimy Green Bay Packers on Sunday Night Football uh, on uh, New Year's Eve. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>